Hey guys, welcome to Keys Moths. I want you to forgive my stuffiness because I actually yesterday came down with the flu. I'm on a little bit of a fever break now and I went to our pharmacist to get my prescriptions. But in that time, I realized that my uh, hair streak caterpillars had hatched. <coughs> and uh, they got they to eat. And they got to eat fresh food and it's got to be today or they're going to die. So while I was getting the, the uh, prescription, I figured I'd do a two for one and cut the right plant. I'm going to show you guys uh, a little bit about this tropical hair streak and show you how to cut leaves for the smallest caterpillars ever. Guys, the smallest caterpillars ever. I'm going to show them to you in a few minutes. Check this out. All right, guys, my truck here is parked underneath a tree that is called the Indian Pongam, Pongamia pinata. And it is an ornamental that has been used here for decades. And what happens is in the winter, it loses all of its leaves in probably January, February. And then in the spring, it flushes out all new growth and flushes out with these beautiful, beautiful little flowers. And there's all kinds of bees and stuff that eat them. And people were using them like these shopping centers had them all lining the borders of their shopping center. Uh, I don't believe they're used anymore because I think they're actually um, on one of the uh, exotic plant lists that are no-nos for planting, I think. But they're still around and there's still plenty of them and the Electrostrymon angelia uses the leaves as a host. Indian pongam tree is a legumous tree. It's an exotic, but it's actually in the same family as a, as a native tree. It's called uh, Jamaican dogwood. And so if you look at the trees, there's, very, there's a lot of similarities. The Jamaican dogwoods do the same thing. They lose their leaves in the early spring, late winter, early spring. They flush out new growth. They put out new flowers. And they're host plants for the hammock skipper and the fulvous hair streak. We don't have Jamaican dogwood trees in Broward County, except very, very few people that actually plant them there but they don't grow here naturally. But we do have plenty of this Indian Pongam stuff all over the place in shopping centers. So we're gonna raise both of those bugs on the exotic Indian Pongam and show you the life cycles. And uh, they will eat very happily on this plant. The problem is they only flesh out gr new growth once a year. And the, you know, like, let me show you. I think I can reach this right here. This is the new growth that just came out like a month ago. And even though this leaf is fairly soft, uh, this leaf is, the caterpillars would not eat this. They would die if I try to give them this. They need the softest possible leaves uh, or they're, they're not gonna eat. So the problem is they only flush out their new growth once a year. All this stuff here, no bueno. Then their flowers are gone. So what we gotta do is you gotta look if you want to feed your caterpillars, you got to look for seedlings. Check that stuff out. That right there, that's the good stuff right there. But these caterpillars will only eat possibly this first little leaf right here. Even this second one may already be too old for the first instar hair streak caterpillars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and just see a lot of times when when they cut branches off, it creates this little place where these little mare stems will stick out and start a new stem or a new stalk. And I love this because it enables us the opportunity to have this nice, fresh, new growth. Now this is all hair streak food right here. And the hair streaks will need to eat these brand brand new leaves these reddish leaves all the way through their life cycle and then you can see once the leaf gets a couple days old or a week old they start turning green and once they turn green the hair streaks won't touch them so as you can see this plant right here has plenty of it plenty of these little stalks and i actually i'm actually seeing something that's a nice little surprise right on the very tip of this leaf, there is an egg, and it's not of a hair streak, 
It's the egg of the hammock skipper, Polygonia Leo. And I'm gonna show you a really cool egg. I'm gonna take some pictures of this. But that's definitely coming home with me because we're gonna raise Polygonia Leo because I'm finding that egg. And we're gonna cut, we're gonna go ahead and cut plant for our hair trees. Now, the problem with this stuff, oops. The problem with this stuff All right, guys, the problem with this stuff is when the leaves are this small, they wilt immediately. So you've got to put them in an airtight container in water immediately or they will die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got a, a Ziploc bag with a little bit of water in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just this one little stem. Actually, I'll probably cut two of them because I got two cups. And I'm going to put this stem in my Ziploc bag. And I'll make sure that the, uh, the stem is inside the water. And I'll probably grab a, one more. <laughs> There's really not a whole lot. I hope I can find... There we go. I hope I can find enough enough of this stuff throughout the course of the life cycle of these butterflies all right now i'm also going to snip the uh this guy right here this is our our little skipper egg i wonder if it's hatched i can't really tell my eyes are starting to go guys I'm gonna have to look at it under a uh, magnifier when I get home. Hopefully it's not hatched yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. Now, I gotta make sure that the egg is not sitting in the water. I zip up the Ziploc bag, I take my leaves home, and I'm gonna go ahead and feed the, my caterpillars with them. All right guys, I don't know how much good this video is gonna do for this. These things are so small that I don't know if this iPhone camera is going to be able to actually capture these caterpillars, but we're gonna try. So what I'm seeing is right here, There is definitely some eating, and we see some frass there. I don't see a caterpillar yet. These things are so tiny, guys. So I'm going to look around this leaf. I definitely see where a caterpillar started eating on this stem right here, for sure. I forget what color the hatches are. Maybe he's on the underside of the leaf. I haven't seen him yet. I am not seeing the caterpillars yet, guys. I hope they're alive still. so tiny all right I definitely oh there he is look at him guys look how tiny he is oh my gosh guys I I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold my finger up to this guy for size comparison look how tiny Look how tiny the hair street caterpillar is. Guys, that has to be the smallest caterpillar in the world. I mean, that is so super tiny. 
and very, very difficult to keep track of. So I'm actually going to use my Canon um, 60D over there with a 100 millimeter macro lens and see what kind of images I can get of this little tiny, tiny little caterpillar right here, guys. So small. We had about 20 eggs, so I, I haven't opened the, this cup up yet, but I'm suspecting that we're going to, oops. I'm suspecting that we're gonna find more in there, but I'm gonna try and get some nice images of this little guy as he crawls around. This is how I knew we had caterpillars, guys. Look at the egg hatched. Nothing but the shell. Actually, nothing but the lower rim of the shell. And then we've got two on this leaf here that are both hatched as well. So tiny, guys. All right, so there should be a couple more caterpillars on this. I am just not seeing them. We are now going to go into my cup here and we're going to see what we can see. Yeah, you go? I'm videoing. We're going to see what we can find in my little cup here. I know that these guys are eating or they've hatched. There's none walking around the lid. Yeah, you can see the hatched eggs in there. All right, guys, I'm hoping that we have some live caterpillars here. These leaves are a little more desiccated than I would prefer. So I'm hoping. Let's see. All right, we definitely have evidence of eating here. Oh, there's a caterpillar. You can see him right, right there. Two, three, four. All right, I'm starting to see him. This, guys, these have to be the smallest caterpillars in the entire world. Can you see them? There's actually four of them right here. There's one right there, look at him, isn't he cute? All right guys, as I'm looking, I'm actually seeing the caterpillars easier and easier. Look at the little tiny guy, right on the tip of that leaf, right by my fingernail. I'm indicting my lack of pedicure or uh, manicures. But there's a caterpillar right on the tip of that leaf, right next to my fingernail. And he had to come out of this egg there's the hatched egg. And as we go up the stem, he's sitting right there. Actually, we've got a number of them. Little fuzzy caterpillars, guys. There's one crawling around on the red leaf right there. All right, very cool. I'm very happy, guys, because I thought because I had the flu and it, I waited a whole day in order to get food I was worried that these stems got too wilted and the caterpillars were dead. But as you can see, they're crawling around right there is another one. So I don't know how many there are alive. Uh, you can see the frass, really tiny little droppings down there on the bottom. Some of the caterpillars have started to eat. Actually, there's one right at the base of the leaf where the leaf hits the stem right there. Sorry for the shaky video, guys. These are, this is the smallest thing I've ever tried to, to make a YouTube video on. So it's kind of, give me some grace. I'm asking for grace, guys. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to put this back into our egg container. And I'm going to go into my... These are our stems from the pond game that we had cut over there in the parking lot. And I do have to find the egg. 
which I believe is right there. I'll take some pictures of that in a minute and see if I can actually see if that egg is still viable. Yes, it is still viable, I can see it. Let's see. Egg is still viable, it looks like he's gonna hatch soon. We'll take some video of that as well. But I'm excited guys because I'm just gonna dry this stem off a little bit. And um, at this point with this container, I'm not going to put in any, any kind of water. At this point, I'm just gonna put in little pieces of the, of the stem. And what I'll do is I will hope that these caterpillars are, will eat happily now that they actually have some, some new fresh leaves in the container. So uh, what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna check back in a day or so and make sure that these guys are happy and healthy. And then we'll go from there. I'm super excited. Hair Street Caterpillars underway. The other thing I'm gonna do, since this guy, I'm, at, I'm not sure what happened to these caterpillars. They could be in that mess somewhere. I'm actually going to keep this in here. I'm going to bend that down. Right like that. Okay, so there is plenty of food in there. All right guys, what I found is this Polygonia Leo egg is actually ready to hatch. Uh, the eggs are green with the little white ridges when they're fresh, but as they develop, they turn brownish orange, and that's the exact color that this egg is. So I would suspect that tomorrow, this caterpillar is going to hatch and become a skipper larva, and we're gonna show you the life cycle of that cool butterfly as well. Uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Super tiny things, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe. We got plenty more action where this comes from. Until next time, guys, let's get out there, enjoy South Florida, and let's find the super tiny. Take care, guys. Bye.